Hello! Welcome back. Thanks for showing up. Um, my name's Amanda, as most of you know, and I'm doing these daily videos to just be uplifting and share some things that help me have a more positive and happy life. So, welcome. Today I'm talking about um, carving out space to make your art. Or So, so I'm an artist, and um, that's a big thing that I talk about on here is how I'm, a, I'm in recovery, from drugs and alcohol, but I'm also a recovering creative. So I'm recovering from all the negative chatter that kept me from showing my art to the world or that had me believing that I couldn't do it for some reason or that I wasn't good enough or all that shit. So um, I talk a lot about how to push through that and have an art career and actually make money doing what you want to do. So one of the big things that I used for a long time to hold myself back was this excuse that I didn't have the space to make art in. And I thought, well, I can't really be an artist until I can afford a studio space. And that really, that sounds so ridiculous to me now, but it held me back for a long time. And I think really what was underneath that was fear. I think what's under a lot of excuses actually is fear. So it was easier for me to just say, to like blame it on external circumstances like, oh, well, I just don't have a studio and I can't afford one than to say, I'm just terrified to make art and I'm terrified of being judged and I don't think I'm good enough. So once I got past that, I realized that oh, holy shit, I can make art anywhere, and people do, right? Like, um, a big part of getting past negative thinking is to push back with reality. And so look around for evidence of people who are doing it anyways, right? So there were tons of people all around me that were making art. I mean, I was a train hopper, and I was homeless, and there were kids that were making art no matter what. I knew one girl who painted with old coffee, so there's really no excuse, right? And I have lived in some tiny apartments, and I have carved out space for my art, even if it was just... I remember I lived in one studio where there was room in the kitchen by the window for this big bookshelf. And that bookshelf held art supplies and books about art. And I could set up a little art desk there with a chair where I suppose most people would set up a dining room, <laughs> like a dining area. I set up some art there and I was able to make art. And today I have a living room that it's not a huge place, but it's spacious enough to where I can split that living area in half. And I've really... Um, set it up like a studio. And what's cool about it is when I when I stop telling myself that I don't have the space and just start figuring out, okay, what, how can I turn even a fraction of the space into a designated art making studio space? Um, then I start to get more ideas. So it's just like anything, right? Like how this like law of attraction stuff works or manifesting things works is when you put your mind to it, um, you like more ways are revealed, right? Like in AA, one of my favorite sayings is more will be revealed. And I really think that's about taking action and taking the next step and just doing the next thing that we know how to do. Even if we don't know how to do the whole thing yet, um, if we take that next very next step that we can take, then we can see the next few from there, right? So now I have a space where I've been able to lay out a, a tarp that I can paint on and I have a little desk and a stool that I can set up like an easel. Um, I've got a shelf for some art supplies and then I have a desk that I was using, using for sewing and still do sometimes, but that's also being kind of taken over with um, prints and uh, calendars. So I'm really starting to get serious about my project calendars and stuff, but that's a different video. So go find some space. I don't care if you're sharing, if you are living with someone and living in their closet, like put up a shelf and make that your art space, you know? Mostly, um, it's just about clearing the space in your mind and giving yourself the permission that I am an artist, damn it, and I'm going to make room for myself to create. So go find that today. Hope this helps, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.